Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about speedometers. So I bought a couple of different ones, but which one is best? In this video we are going to find out. Stay tuned. So guys, as you probably know, I'm a big fan of crawler cars and fast litter cars like this one for example. I just love those cars, you know, just driving them around and the faster the better in my opinion. So in this video we are going to test some new speedometers. Why? Well, normally I would use my old phone to measure the speed, but this one died, so I had to have some something new. So I bought two different ones. I bought a little bit cheaper one, so this will cost you around 30 bucks or something, and this will cost you uh, around 60 bucks, I think it was, I'm not sure anymore, but I will put the link down below. But which one is best? Is double the price better, or can you do the same thing with this one? Well, let me first unpack those and show you what's inside the box. With this model you will get the device, a micro USB cable and we've got some instructions. So this one, yeah of course the device, we've got the USB-C cable and we've got two patches of double sided tape and that's all to it. Let's have a look at the design and we're going to start with this one. So the feel to this one, it feels pretty solid and pretty sturdy in my opinion. So right over here you've got a micro USB connection and I think that's a bit of an old connection because almost every device now uses the USB-C, so that's a bit of a downside in my opinion. So we've got a small lid sitting right over there with the battery compartment and we've got two buttons right over there. So this is your mode button, this is your enter button and right over there we've got an on off switch. So here you can see the connection and this one is uh, is if you want to power it with a six volt power supply for example from your receiver and of course we've got the display so let's have a look at the other one and here is the other one so it's all made of plastic of course but i really do like that they have used a transparent housing it's just a different touch to it and i really like that so over here inside the little compartment you can see the battery so here's a lanyard uh, connection oh this one also has got a lanyard connection right over there so this is your display we've got two little buttons so this is your on off switch and we've got a little reset button and over here you will find your usb-c connection and that's all to it so let's power it on and look at the functionality. Here is the first one and the display is very clear. So I can read everything clearly and that's all fine. So here you can see the top speed and right over there the small one is your actual speed. So it's connected to six satellites, it's got an OK fix to the satellites and we've got the GPS 50 or 49 sometimes. Yeah you see the 49 but I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. So it's reading now that we are going 0.5 uh, kilometers an hour and that's not correct. But I think that's something to do that we are standing inside it building so functionality wise this is it so it's only kilometers an hour and we cannot for example do the average speed or something like that so if you're only interested in the top speed then this one is an all okay device but i would like to have seen that you have some different yeah, functionality inside there but let's have a close look at the other one and here is the other one. So the display isn't as clear as that one, so that's a bit of a downside for this model. So on the display you will find a lot of information. So right in the top corner right over there you will see an icon of a satellite flashing. So if it stops flashing then it's fixed to the satellite. So we've got a battery indicator sitting right over there and we've got a lot of functionalities. So mine is currently set to kilometers an hour, but you can change this one also to miles an hour. So that's a thumbs up for this one. So when you press the mode button right over there, then you will go to the menu so now it's going uh, now it's sitting on the uh, the current speed press it once then it goes to the peak speed press it again we've got the average speed then you will have your current altitude then you will have your peak altitude and this is your time that you drove around and here you can see some gps settings and we have got a clock inside there. So this one has got a lot more functionality than the cheaper one. So now it's time to put them both in a car and see how they perform and to see which one is best. So 
So guys, I'm all done testing and it was very interesting to see. So I walked with them, I took them on the bicycle, I put them on the RC car, I put them in the real car and it was very interesting to see how they behave. So yeah, uh, comparison wise, well this one jumped around a little bit uh, with the actual speed and that was a bit strange in my opinion. So when I was standing still, sometimes this will give me a reading and this was just solidly on the zero. So therefore I think that this one has got a more solid reading or yeah, a more uh, better reading than this one but if you're looking for a simple one just to see the speed I think that this one really could do the job so display wise this is the clear winner for the display so I can see everything clearly on the display even when it's sunny outside this one was easy readable but this one yeah faded a little bit in the bright sunlight so therefore I really like the display of this one Another thing is the USB connection. So this one has got the USB-C connection, which is more standard these days. And this one has got the older one, the micro USB connection. So therefore, yeah, I really do like this one. But if you're looking for one that's more trustful, I think that this one will give you a more solid reading than that one. So it's all up to you. So I will put a link down, the, I will put a link down below to both of them. So this one is a little bit more cheap. And if you're, you're going to use it only once or twice, then that's probably the one for you. But if if you're going to use it frequently i think that this is the one to go for all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye